Like a food that I can't live without. This is a banana. Duh, I eat a banana like every day. What's up, I'm Avril Lavigne and today I'm answering 22 questions for 2022. One of the most memorable concerts I've seen was Shania Twain because that was early, early on. I was 14 years old and I got to jump up on stage and sing with her. One of the weirdest gifts I've received from a fan was a wedding dress in Korea. Well, I've been really fortunate to collaborate with a lot of cool people on my album, Love Sucks, like Machine Gun Kelly, Black Bear, and Mark Hoppus from Blink-182. And I'd say right now, those guys are all my dream collaboration. My favorite Blink-182 song, all of them, but like one of them is All the Small Things. And that was the song that I covered during my tour, one of my world tours. Skater Boy is a super special song to me. I wrote it about my high school experience, sort of like different groups and cliques and stuff, and I was obsessed with skaters and skater boys. If I had to make a fan page for anybody, um, I would say it'd be fun to make one for Hanson Brothers. The best piece of advice somebody's given me, I mean, I would definitely say that just like comes from my mom. She's like always taught me to be kind to other people and to like be honest and be all love. If I ever looked myself up on the internet, yeah. Like it's the easiest way to like go back and see old pictures of me if we're like trying to like reference something or wanting to check out like one of my old concerts or looking up one of my guitars I played on stage. Yes, absolutely. Favorite quality in a romantic partner? I think somebody who's like super attentive and romantic. My most used emoji currently is an orange heart and a middle finger. And that's for my song, Love It When You Hate Me. Somebody that inspires me a lot is my brother because he's a really hard worker and super intelligent and a really good person. Like a food that I can't live without. <laughs> this is a banana. Duh, I eat a banana like every day. The biggest lesson that I've learned in the past year is to stand up for yourself. Something on my bucket list to accomplish very soon is to get my M license, my motorcycle license. One of the most memorable performances of my career was when I played a stadium in Japan. Have I ever been mistaken for somebody else? Uh, nope. <laughs> Who would I like to play me in a movie? Um, Cara Delevingne. Because we like, kind of, like, have similar names and like, she's cool. <laughs> my first musical memory started in church, singing at two years old and my mom told me that that's when she knew I was going to be a singer. Do I have a secret talent? My secret talent is that I am a gourmet chef. I can cook anything and everything. Um, I have a lot of fun making homemade pasta sauce and pasta, and but I usually cook like really healthy for myself, anywhere from like fish to like salads and veggies, but like I really make everything. My favorite song to scream lyrics to would be Bitch by Meredith Brooks. Okay, if I had a time machine, I would go back to Woodstock 69 when Janis Joplin played, and I would be front row. No, I'd be side stage. No, I would join her on stage. That was 22 questions with me, Avril Lavigne. Bye, MTV.